certain instructions that we all need to follow. The first thing first is I request everyone to rename themselves as Toastmasters and all the guests can prefix guest to their name. Also, I request all the speakers to prefix speaker to their name and all the speakers similarly. I'll give you 10 seconds to do the same. Okay. Now, the second thing is all the members and the guests are requested to turn their audio off while the speaker is speaking and also not to type anything in the chat box as it can disrupt the flow of the speech. Now, if you have any reservations, then you can also let me know. The Zoom master for our today's meet is none other than Toastmaster Kunal, which is me. Now all the guests are requested to network after the meeting ends. Now, before I hand over this stage to our presiding officer, I would like to share the mission of our club. So members, in our club, all the members are empowered to improve their communications and leadership skills, which results in a greater self-confidence and personal growth. Now, before I give the stage to our presiding officer, I would like to congratulate DTM Ankit Das Gupta because he has been nominated as the club growth director. It's a big op opportunity for Ankit and uh, you're truly setting up an example for us to follow. Now, I would like to hand over the stage to our presiding officer, Dheeraj Singh. Over to you. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Zoom Master of the Day and Sergeant and Arms. Thank you for such a wonderful introduction. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the 58th meeting of Speakers Community Toastmaster Club. Fear is a fundamental emotion. So before we start with the theme of the meeting, we have a guest in our uh, room. So uh, let's have the introduction of the guest. Mansi, are you able to hear me? So how you got to know about the Toastmasters and what's your expectations from today's meeting? Yeah, hi, Deeraj. Uh, this is my first meeting. Uh, I'm really excited to uh, to see you all and to have have you. Um, yeah, actually, I'm really looking forward to, to learn uh, and learn and do communication skills uh, for my professional growth and personal growth, of course. Uh, so yeah, I'm really looking forward to uh, improve improve. Skills. Okay, that's a good way, and definitely the leadership you will learn here will improve and increase the chances of growth in your professional career. Uh, we have another yeah, guest, Yusuf. Uh, so, uh, Zoom Master, please spotlight Yusuf. Yusuf, how you get to know about the Toastmasters and what your expectation from today's meeting? Over to you. Hi, everyone. My name is Yusuf. And uh, I, knew, I knew about Toastmasters since I was in London. Uh, I, did, I did a little bit of Toastmasters there. And it really improved my uh, communication and uh, my interaction with others became uh, a lot more uh, better. So uh, this is mainly for my professional development that I've come here. And uh, I'm looking forward to learn more with you guys. Thanks. Yeah, that's good to hear. And learning is a never ending process. And Toastmaster is the right platform to learn the right thing related to the professional upliftment. Uh, let's start with the theme of the meeting. So uh, we all know that fear is a fundamental emotion. It is wired deeply inside each of us. This motion was useful in the ancient time to protect humans against any perceived threat to their integrity or existence. But now humans don't have any threat of that kind to its existence. But still we have the fear and it prevents us from reaching the new heights. For me, fear has two meanings. Forget everything and run, which signifies do whatever you wish to do without thinking about the negative aspect or face everything and rise. So in both the situations, you will grow. In today's meeting, we have a dynamic neuroscientist and gene editing enthusiast who will be talking about the fear and how to conquer it in today's theme of the meeting. Now with this, I would like to call on the stage Toastmaster of the day, uh, Toastmaster Nikita, over to you. Thank you so much, Toastmaster Dheeraj. As you very rightly put, 
fear can stop us from living our best life on the other side of our greatest fears lies our greatest lives and the only way to deal with fear is to embrace them i would like to ask you presiding officer dheeraj which is your greatest fear uh so before joining the toastmaster my greatest fear was to come on the stage and speak i was not able to utter a single word i remember i was chosen as the school head for my school and uh, looking at my build i am a 6 feet tall guy very strong so that my uh, pt teacher thought he will is the best person suitable for the school by road but when he called on the my, my stage my legs were frozen everything i was not able to utter anything and but, but because of after joining the toastmaster whenever i get the opportunity and whenever i find the mic in front of me i am there and continuously speak over to you that's amazing toastmaster dheeraj you not only had the fear of public speaking but you took an action to overcome the fear next i would like to ask mansi if mansi is okay with you can you share with us your greatest fear yeah um, hi nikita hi uh, nikita i think my greatest fear is also i mean uh, to speak in public to speak in mm-hmm. public or to uh, to give a presentation in uh, in front of my colleagues so i mean i am in the very initial stage of my career and i do want to uh, overcome this fear and overcome this uh, vulnerability uh, so that i can proceed well and i can go ahead in my career as well as in my personal life that's excellent mansi and i can also see how our shared fears and vulnerabilities are bringing us together in this club Toastmaster Kalpana, can I put you on the spot and ask you what is your greatest fear? Actually, it is water. Oh, that's interesting. I, I am so terrified of uh, swimming, or rather, I was as a child. I think uh, one of my mother's friend, under the pretext of wanting some grass that was growing right next to the swimming pool. saying that she wants to see whether it floats into the water or not and just pulled me into the swimming pool and i screamed my lungs out saying that she is murdering me by drowning me into the swimming pool at a very late stage and age i did overcome that fear and i'm happy to say that i do take to water and i do swim though i go nowhere near ocean for a swim but i enjoy ocean thank you that's thank you. amazing that's amazing toastmaster kalpana we can see how courageously you have actually been swimming now and how it started as such a tragic fear i think you deserve a round of applause from all of us for taking for embracing your fear and overcoming it uh yusuf can i put you on the spotlight if you're comfortable with sharing your fears with us sure am i audible Yes, you are. Yeah, my greatest fear is also um, uh, public speaking, and uh, in fact, uh, um, I suffer from a speech defect also. So I have a I have a stammer. So that magnifies my fear, and uh, I've always had. Uh, um had this inside me ke i'm 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 not uh suited for public speaking so i try to shy away from that as much as possible excellent you so thank you for sharing that with us and as i mentioned earlier we can all see how our shared vulnerabilities and fears are bringing us here i think we all deserve a huge round of applause for being so open about our fears Absolutely. and also not just having fears but taking a stand taking an action to overcome those we can live our lives being fearful or we can overcome the fears and live a great life and the fact that all of us are here today trying to overcome our fears and move ahead in life shows the superheroes that we are with that in this meeting i promise you we will try to overcome our fears and we will do a few exercises to overcome them Before that, I would like to first welcome the role players who are going to assist me in conducting this meeting. This meeting will be divided into two segments. 
the first will be the prepared speeches round and the second will be the table topic round. The prepared speeches round will be given by two speakers today and for the table topic round, it will be an impromptu speaking round in which I encourage all of you to come up and uh, be on the spotlight and try to speak impromptu on a topic that is given to you. At the end of this, we have a third round, which is the general evaluation, where everybody will be evaluated on the way they spoke and given tips on how they can improve. Along with that, the whole conduct of the meeting will also be evaluated. To assist me in this meeting, we have three role players. The first will be the timer, the second, the hour counter, and the third, the grammarian. Uh, so for today's meeting, we do not have a grammarian. We will just have the timer and the hour counter. Uh, so for the timer, I would like to invite Toastmaster Dheeraj to explain his role. Good evening, everyone. Uh, I'm Dheeraj Singh, timer for today's meeting. As a timer, it's my duty to time the prepared speeches, table topics, and evaluations. Uh, for prepared speeches, the time allotted is as per the project. For example, for the icebreaker speech, it is four to six minutes. For normal speech, it's five to seven minutes. For table topic, the time allotted is one to two minutes. And for evaluation, the time allotted is two to three minutes. Speaker must uh, meet the specified time limits to qualify for the awards at the end of the meeting. I will be displaying a green card at the end of the minimum qualifying time, yellow at the midpoint, and the red screen at the maximum qualifying time. For prepared speeches and evaluation, the speaker has 30 second grace period before the minimum qualifying time and after the maximum qualifying time. For table topic, there is a grace period of 30 seconds only and only after the red screen is displayed. All the speaker who continue to speak beyond the 30 second grace will not qualify for the vote. I will report the time taken by the speakers when called upon. Thank you and over to you, Toastmaster of the day. Thank you so much, Toastmaster Dheeraj. For the R counter, who's going to keep a check on the R's and ums that we use during the speech, we have Toastmaster Kalpana, who's taken up this role. Toastmaster Kalpana, can you please explain your role? Thank you, Toastmaster of the day, Nikita. How many of struggle at, at when we are, you know, try to uh, speak, uh, especially uh, fluently, especially on, do you get what I'm trying to tell you? Yeah. We all end up using our uh, arms, so, oh, but uh, also, yes, no, ah, uh, um, these are, some of them are filler words and some of them are the words that we use to buy time. To overcome this particular snag in public speaking so that we can be a fluent speaker, all the R's and ums are monitored by an R counter person. This helps you to know where you have broken off with your R's and ums and later on utilize this feedback to improvise upon your speech. So look out and watch out for your R's and arms. Over to you, Toastmaster of the day. Thank you so much, Toastmaster Kalpana. I request all of you, if you have a paper and a pen to take it, if you don't, you can open a Word document from the device that you're attending on. I give you 10 seconds to find a paper pen or a Word document. Okay, everybody's ready. Can I have a thumbs up? Okay, perfect. Now I'm going to give all of you, I'm going to put all of you on the spot and I'm going to give you one minute. And in one minute, I want to write down all the fears and worries that come to your mind without thinking the first fears and worries that come to your mind. Your time starts now.
Okay, perfect. Time up. Now, I want you to look at your sheet. Don't worry, you don't have to share it so you can be as open as you want with it. You can look at your sheet and try to segregate each of them. On the left side of each of them, try to write down C for if you can control it. And if you can't control it, just try to put a cross or an X. For example, Russia is attacking Ukraine. You can't do anything about it. If that's your worry, put an X there. US elections, you can't do anything about it unless you have voting rights there. So you can put an X there. Okay, excellent. Now, congratulations to all of you. You've done the first step of identifying your fears. Now, the second step of embracing your fears and accepting it. These are all fears that make us human. It's totally, completely fine to have these fears. Think about, just pick up like five fears from that list and you can do the rest later when you have time. Pick up five fears from that list and think about what is the worst thing that can happen if that fear comes true. Okay, done. Okay, perfect. Now that you've created the worst case scenario in your mind, you've picked up your five greatest fears and realized what is the worst case scenario that can happen to them. Now, if for the ones that you've written a C, for the ones that are controllable and you can do something about it, what actionable steps can you take to mitigate the worst case scenario? I give you two minutes to write down a list of actionable steps for each fear that you can do something to mitigate the worst case. Okay, when you guys are done, you can give me a thumbs up. Okay. Okay, perfect. So since most of you are done, now I want you to realize what you have done through this exercise. You identified your fears, you created the worst case scenario that can happen, accepted that scenario, and you took, you decided on actionable steps that you can take to reduce those fears so that you don't end up in the worst case scenario. This whole exercise realizes first what is in your control and what is not. What is not in your control, probably you can break it down and try to make it to something, to something controllable. For example, the world hunger crisis really bothers me and I'm very fearful that people may end up hungry on the streets. The second thing I'm really fearful about is having uneducated children and the youth is not as educated as they ought to be. So these two things are my biggest fears. I can't do anything, I can't solve the world hunger crisis, neither can I solve the world education crisis. But what I can do is that on my road every week, I pick up like, a, I make a magic bag and give it to two homeless people on the road every week. The other thing I can do is sponsor the education of a child in an NGO. So every year from my salary, I take out some amount of money to sponsor the education of one child as much as I can afford. So things for things you can't control, you can break it down into small things that you can. For things you can control, for example, I'm worried about my health. I'm worried about my, um, the, my fitness and my health. What I can do about it is that I can 
uh, go to the gym, I can eat healthy, I can have more fruits, more antioxidants in my diets, and these are things that I can do. What does this whole exercise do? It brings me power. Power, I realize that I have power over my situations. I know that I am not sitting here helpless, awake all night, worried about things, but I have the power to bring change. This is what I want you to do with this exercise, to sit down, to realize all the fears. You can go on writing and once and for all, make a list of actionable steps that you want to take. Of course, it's not a one day project. You cannot mitigate all your fears in one day, but you can do it over time. Whenever you're worried about something, you can write it down and make a timeline. Over the period of one year, I want to solve this fear, this fear, this fear, this fear. What does it do? It brings you resilience. In the face of adversity, you are prepared. You can stand and face the adversity. You are a leader, you are not a victim in that situation. I would like to ask how you guys feel after doing this exercise. Uh, Kalpana, can I start with you? How do you feel after doing this exercise? I just realized some of my fears were just uh, had no grounds. And uh, some of the fears, yes, there were measures I could actually take to, as you mentioned, mitigate it. And uh, some of the fears, only time will be able to take care of it. That is what I have realized. Thank you. Exactly. Toastmaster Ankit, how do you feel after this? Thanks, Nikita. This is a very uh, good exercise and also very structured. I believe I was able to identify a lot of fears which I didn't know I had after going through this exercise. And so in terms of seeing how, what is the worst that can happen, right? We talk about it in general, but over here, you are specific about the fear. And that itself made me understand that anything in life, if you are able to categorize in this way and build a structure around it, we can solve it. And fear is the greatest uh, so fear is the greatest thing that can happen to you in terms of the uh, like in, in terms of the negative, right? And we are able to structure it and uh, get a solution out of it. So it was wonderfully done. Thanks, thanks a lot, Nikita. You're welcome, Toastmaster Ankit. Uh, Toastmaster Kunal, can I have your feedback? How do you feel after this exercise? Yeah, hi, hi, Nikita. Even I agree with Kalpana and Ankit because, as you rightly said, it makes you more powerful when you you know think of a solution for a longer term and uh, even i had a fear of clearing my exams or you know overcome my fear of public speaking so i've realized that it's a it will take time and uh, that's it thank you excellent that's great toastmaster kunal as i mentioned earlier on the other side of our greatest fears lies our greatest life so i hope we all will embrace our fears from now on. Keep a journal, so called your worry list. And in the structured way that I mentioned, try to break it down into actionable steps you can take so that when adversity strikes, when something like the COVID pandemic or next recession or something bigger strikes, you are the leader in that situation. And with Toastmaster, you know how to speak and also lead people in that situation. So it's not just your life, but others who you can impact there. With that, I think we can move on to the first segment of today, which is the prepared speeches round. For the first speaker, Toastmaster RP, I would like to invite the evaluator, Toastmaster Amai, to explain the objectives of the speech. Toastmaster Amai, can we have you on the spotlight? Yes, yes. Yes, over to you, Toastmaster Amai. Yeah, uh, Toast, just a minute. Uh, yeah, uh, Toastmaster Arti is attempting her level three project one speech under the pathway of presentation mastery. And the purpose of her, the speech is to understand the types of persuasive, influ persuasive speeches and deliver a persuasive speech at a club meeting. And the title of the speech is Secure Future. Over to you. Thank you so much, Toastmaster Abhay. For Toastmaster Aarti, uh, can you see the timing cards? Uh, one second, timer, can you please share the timing cards? Yes, yes I can. 
you can okay perfect toastmaster arti secure future secure future toastmaster arti am i visible yes What was that sound? Do you say rupees, dollars, euros? What's your bank balance? Do you have a bank balance? Do you ever think of owning a bank balance? Good evening, fellow Toastmasters and guests. Drop by drop, an ocean is formed. Unquote. It is the same with money. We all end up realizing the value of savings much later in our life. I agree, health is wealth, but wealth is required to sustain a healthy life. I won't be eating healthy diet without wealth, right? Haven't you started thinking about your future retirement plans yet? Even if you are in your 20s or 30s and are just getting started in your career, putting money away for retirement as soon as possible can give your money extra time to grow and may help you retire on time in comfort. Let us come down to Warren Buffet, a monarch of savings. Buffet has given multiple ideas of savings, but my most favorite one is don't save. What is left after spending? Spend what is left after saving. Are you wondering how and when I started saving? I had seen my mother always kept away the bonus money every year for our future. She taught me the art of savings for the rainy days. She saved money like a pool of water. My mother started giving me 300 rupees as my pocket money when I was in 10th standard. She also opened my bank account and encouraged me for saving some amount from my pocket money. I had decided to use 150 rupees and keep 150 rupees in my savings account. Do not put all the eggs in one basket. I adopted diversified investment. 10% in savings accounts for emergency, 20% in mutual funds, 20% in share market, 10% in pension plans, 10% in tech sales. When my savings multiplied, I started investing in gold and real estate. Now, I feel I have enough savings for my retirement. As soon as your child takes birth, start investing in his or her name. If we take care of our finances, we will be blessed with double returns, security, and a tension-free retired life. Many people with good earnings have ended up on streets for only one reason, that they didn't know the art of sales. Today, I'm asking you, will you do what I did? Will you secure your family's financial future? I have known two uncles, one Ramesh uncle. Ramesh uncle was planned for his retirement. He saved for the future. Uh, he saved for the future. 
and now he is enjoying his retirement life. On the other end, Ramesh Sangar, he didn't save for his retirement life. He enjoyed and never thought about the future. Now he is regretting for not planning properly. Will you secure your family's financial future? I appeal to all of you, start saving now to ensure a healthy and happy tension-free retired life. Have you a blueprint or have a blueprint of savings chopped out? One CR, five CR, ten CR. By the age of forty, save, aim high. Over to you, Toastmaster of the day. Thank you. Thank you so much, Toastmaster Arthi. What a wonderful speech! Can we have a huge round of applause? Thank you. Also, from your speech, I remembered another fear of mine, which was to become broke and homeless. And I think with your speech, now I've realized how I can save money so I don't end up broke and homeless. For the second speech, I would like to invite Toastmaster Dheeraj. Uh, the evaluator of the speech is Toastmaster Kalpna. Toastmaster Kalpna, can, we, uh, can you please share the objectives of this speech? Thank you, Toastmaster of the day. My speaker, Toastmaster Dheeraj, is attempting his level four and project two of persuasive influence. Here, the speaker is going to give a prepared speech, but disruptions or questions are allowed in this speech. Any member who feels that they have any doubts and would like to ask him or interrupt him is allowed to do so. As an evaluator, I'll be looking out as to how he is managing not just his prepared speech, but his impromptu speech. That is how he answers or tackles each disruptions while he is giving his speech. Timer, I would like you to note the timing is five to seven minutes, but an additional seven to 10 minutes in case of disruption is given to the speaker. Minimum three speakers and maximum five speakers can disrupt the speaker. So the total time allotted will be about 14 to 15 minutes, depending on the disruptions. Over to you, Toastmaster of the day, Nikita. Thank you so much, Toastmaster Kalpna. And I'm happy to know we all are very excited that we can disrupt Toastmaster Dheeraj's <laughs> speech today. I will keep a bunch of questions ready to interrupt him. Uh, Toastmaster Dheeraj, um, can you see the timing cards? Or is it, are you I will, uh, yeah, you yes, I can card? see. Uh, okay, so I'll get this sharing, okay. Okay, uh, to a timer, please note, time is 10 to 13 minutes. And uh, as Kalpana mentioned, extra minutes for disruption. Uh, just just okay. one query. Time is seven, uh, five to seven minutes, right? Or seven to nine minutes. Yes. For speaker, the right. time is five to seven uh, minutes. Sorry. It's... Uh, yeah. For yes, speaker, sir. the time is five okay. to seven minutes. You can have uh, three to five minutes for disruption. For the disruption. But if you have five disruptions, the time increases. Yes. Minimum of three disruptions and maximum of five disruptions are allowed. So the okay. final timing is according to that. It's 14 so, to 15 minutes, right? Exactly. Final time. Yes, okay, sir. fine. So I'll show four, at 14 minutes, I'll show the green card, 14 and a half. I'll show the yellow card and 15 minutes, I'll show the red card, okay? Uh, no, no, not this way. No, 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 like, no. When I'm speaking, you start the timer. When someone is raising the question, you can stop the timer. But Overall, uh, means the. Uh, are you getting my point? Okay, got it, to, uh, okay got it. Okay, got it. For speaker, yeah. it is five to seven minutes normal. You okay. stop when the time when someone is asking questions. When you stop, someone is when someone is asking questions, stop it, and you can also have a stopwatch ready, Ankit, as to how much minutes is elapsing because un 
prepared speeches given again five to seven minutes for the speaker. Is it understood, Ankit? Ankit? Yes, yes, I understand. Yeah. Yeah, and in the impromptu speech also will be assigned for up to five to seven minutes. So you can yes. mark that time also aside to gel it totally to 14 minutes, 14, 15 minutes. Thank you. Okay. Okay. So Toastmaster Dheeraj, leading in difficult situations. Leading in difficult situations, Toastmaster Dheeraj. Good evening, everyone. There is a famous quote and it goes like, Nothing is more beautiful than the smile that has struggled through the tears. Right now, our club is experiencing similar situation. In spite of smaller number of players, our ex comp and some bright members are successfully conducting each meeting and their happiness is reflected on their smiles after the meeting. Kudos to all those who are putting their best to ensure smooth and proper functioning of club meeting. I consider having less role player for club meeting as a difficult time. So I thought of using this speech as an opportunity to present the club member my idea to sail through this difficult situation. Less role players are due to two reasons. The first is majority of our members are busy with their other commitment. So we don't have control over this. And other is low club strength. We all can work on this second reason that is to increase the club membership. Building and maintaining club membership is important and of course challenging as we have experienced in the last few months. But it's worth to take this challenge as having a healthy club membership ensures more ideas, more participation, input and better learning for all. I have following four points which I feel that will be helpful in increasing the club strength. The first point is to have a membership drive. So when I say a membership drive, it should not be like you are talking about leadership communications because there is a quote which says, when you fish for love, bait with your heart and not with your brain. If you just keep drumming leadership, communication, etc., the public will not understand the benefit of Toastmaster and will be reluctant as these terms are not very fascinating. You talk about finance, health, music, love, People will rush to listen to the talks. You can see that how many uh, viewers are there in the Instagram and Reels. So we can bring the interesting topics to gather the large crowd. And slowly, we will slip the concept of Toastmasters into their brain. So when we have large number of people, that is, we have a guest. How to convert the guest into members? We have another point. That is to have a guest program. Now, after having the guest, our Heeraj, tactic... uh, yes. I, uh, I have a point. I actually, uh, I'm having some network issues at my end and your timer card, I'm not able to show it properly. Okay. And uh, also there might be some uh, electricity failure that might come at my place. Okay. So uh, just letting you be aware about it. And if any solutions you can provide for the same. Yes, I, I'm pre prepared for all such scenarios. And you can see that my timer is running parallelly to keep me aware about that timing. And I think that everyone should be ready with when they are giving a speech and uh, if some disruption happens to avoid uh, nervousness, we should be ready with the second plan. So our tactic should be to make them aware about the Toastmaster in a friendly manner. Our purpose, sole purpose is to make them aware about the benefit that the Toastmaster offers. We should not be running after them. So whenever a new person joins the club, he is a stranger to the club. So first thing we should be doing as a human being as well, that to make them comfortable in the club. And the best way to do that is to interact with them in the networking session. I have personally experienced, and some of our Toastmaster, say Ankit Dasukta has mentioned, that the members who stay Peter, still the networking... Yes. Uh, why shouldn't we be running after the guests? Uh, okay. If we want them, we pursue them. Isn't that correct way to get them enrolled in our club? Okay. So those who are really seeking for the upliftment for the improvement, they will automatically come to you when they get to know about the benefits of the Toastmasters. And those who are not just, uh, they are uh, roaming from here and there just to time pass, they will not be uh, interested in spite of your so many 
follow up so that will consume our the time of our vp or vp uh, public relation so to avoid them only you tell them the our purpose is to make the public aware about the benefit that the toastmaster offer and after offering after the, uh, making them aware we should not be running after them but cold calling is an in thing right uh you know what's cold calling right when the sales uh, when you are handling sales generally most of us first making the person aware of who or what the company is or what is the product that we are selling we do a follow up of cold calling because once a person gets into his or her uh, day to day life uh, it becomes difficult for them to you know recall a one off meeting that they might have attended so okay. what do you suggest okay so we can invite them we can follow them and follow them for the purpose of telling them of reminding them about the timing of the club because generally people are not uh, habitual of attending the online meeting so they forget the timing of the meeting so you just uh, uh, tell them about the timing of the meeting bring them in two or three meetings if they join that is okay if they don't join because there is a saying that if a person has decided that they are not going to join so you follow up continuously they will not join there is a saying in hindi dil laga diwar se to pari kya cheez hai so if they have decided that they are not going to join this club so after following up uh, they will not join and i have seen that those who are really interested to join join the club in first or second meetings dheeraj but i have a dheeraj i following up ends up being running after them so you have technically agreed to my point that we have to follow them which means we have to run after them yet your speech said we should not be running after them so isn't it contradictory ah uh, okay so my point is that you you just follow them up for two to three meetings so that them make them completely aware about the happenings of the meeting the advantages this offer but after uh, following them up for two to three meetings they have joined the two to three meetings and they are still not joining so my point is that don't uh, waste your energy and time on those uh, members they are not really interested in joining the toastmasters you in, in spite of that you focus on someone who is uh, not knowing about the toastmasters Uh, uh, yes, sorry yes. i have a point here uh, yeah. and the thing is that i want clarification about this that when you say that um, i think you're missing out on the why factor uh, we all join toastmasters because of a why a fear that we have that why i want to join toastmasters to overcome this fear and to be a better public yeah, speaker yeah, etc exactly. yes. but with the ongoings of daily life we tend to go back to the instead of moving towards greatness and towards uh, betterment we just tend to be lazy and i mean sleep for those 2 hours in the evening or go out and party instead of attending the toastmasters this point is also reflected in two ways one that uh, everybody joins toastmaster and then over time the motivation reduces uh, so as a president how do you plan to do that and secondly uh, for new members who join the meeting staying till the end of the networking session is usually i mean they get bored in the first half because they don't know the structure of a toastmaster and they don't have their own curriculum that's allotted to them by then so uh, the only time where they can participate is the end of the meeting which is the table topic round and then how do you motivate them to stay till the end of the networking session so two questions how do you plan to tackle them as a uh, president of the club one uh, the motivation to continuously attend and not just a peak of motivation in the beginning which drips down and the second one how do you keep member retention till the end of the networking session okay so the first point that motivation so i am telling you external motivations will diminish after some point of time be it any area of your life be it sports be it academics be it to master so the motivation should come first from the person from the inside if the fire is inside then only the person can sustain for whole life otherwise externally sparked fire does not last longer time so for what we can do is to like on those who are looking for the toastmaster are themselves curious person and they themselves want to grow uh, ahead in the life so there are right persons to come here and attend the meeting and in those who are really get to see the benefit the toastmaster offers they will automatically join now the question is that how you can uh, maintain the member till the end of the meeting so for that you need to bring the good content the good theme of the day just like you have done we have talked about the fear of the uh, like everyone experiences the fear so if you have bring if you bring a generalized concept generalized uh, content then everyone will come and they will stay till the end Dheeraj, of the meeting next a, to come yeah i have a question yeah ma'am uh, we know everything i mean uh, yeah. we know all the possible ways and uh, we also don't you think we implemented everything whatever uh, you are speaking now so what is it uh, i mean we should think away 
think about what could be the uh, strong uh, solution. Like, for example, we give a strong medicine when the disease is spreading. Okay, yeah. so likewise, what do you think would be the out of the box, very strong and effective way which will get us maximum number of membership instantly? So there are many examples uh, in the corporate. Like, for example, IPL, you can say like for 10 years, they are continuously, you know, in the sixth position of the uh, amongst the premier leagues of the world, entire world, if you see. So likewise, uh, considering different uh, case studies, how do you think would be the single and strongest measure to be successful? Like, Okay, so one point I missed, your, you have mentioned IPL and then 10 years. So what you wanted to say about the IPL and 10 years? I wish to say that there was a proper strategy and uh, they understood the audience very well. And uh, the steps in which they've taken uh, was uh, so much effective uh, that uh, they are, con you, you know, it's been a decade that they are uh, into this business. So likewise, in order to get the enormous membership, is there any idea or a shortcut? Yeah, which yeah. Could be uh, I got your point. Kiraj, I want to add on to the point of Amai and I want to add a counterpoint to it uh, for your arguments. When you say yeah. that external, uh, in motivation should be internal, but not external. I think that is where we are failing to understand the audience. Because if you look at your own life, I mean, if you look at my own life, Although I liked history, but I never attended history class because the teacher was boring and the environment was boring. And uh, I got a great interest in math because my teacher was very nice. So it is all external factors more than internal. I start off with the same motivation for all subjects, but uh, it got heavily affected by external motivating environments. So uh, that's where I think I want you to elaborate with Amaz's point and my point on how do you want to understand the audience okay, and strategy. I got, yeah, so the first coming to the Amaz point, so Amay has talked about that IPL over the period of 10 years has improved a lot number of viewers and uh, it's famous. So we have used the automatically have given the answer that IPL took 10 years and how we can instantly bring a lot number of members. So what we need to do is we need to keep on improving our uh, meeting quality. We need to make, imp make improvement in the presence on social media sites so that uh, a lot number of people get to see that what the Toastmaster is and what the leadership they're talking about. Uh, coming to your point, uh, Nikita, you have talked about that your math teacher was good and you were uh, able to you were able to score good in the math. So that was, I can say, that was a very small term. You were able to interested in the math. Are you pursuing PhD in mathematics? No, but because at that time your teacher was interested and make the topics interesting, that's why you scored well. So that I can consider that as a small term. Uh, if you're talking about motivation for months or few years, then external factors can come into picture. But when you want to have a motivation throughout the life that it needs to be means there is there is no alternative it needs to be from inside but Dheeraj, have you been like in those coaching classes when you go to there are yeah. all these posters that say you can you can you can you can and that's what keeps you motivated for two years in a competitive iit or a neat exam which says that these are posters that you can you can you can you can and we used to have i remember in coaching classes special motivation classes why because okay. these are external factors that do affect you and they don't let you break and they keep you motivated. So uh, I think you're undermining the role of external factors in your speech as a president. So could you go ahead on that? Okay, so I, I agree that uh, external motivation should be there. And external motivation uh, makes the person like energetic for few months. So in that le energy level, he can uh, look for that. What is the best for him? What is the best thing they can do? And in this process, they need to excite the uh, motivation from inside. Means if they're not able to like everyone has a time, they go get excited and they get energetic. So during that time, if they are able to figure out that what is the best thing and what they wanted in their life, means they need to ignite their motivation from inside during that course of time when the external motivation is working. Then only they can sustain and sail through a longer period of time. If like suppose an external person has motivated you, then again another external factor will come you and then that will demotivate you. So for sustaining for a longer period of time, I may say, that for a whole life, you need to bring the motivation from inside. Yes, external factor work, but that will work for a short period of time. And in that short period of time, you need to figure out what the, uh, what the path you want to choose and what the motivation that will work for you. So when we have got the guest in the club, I talked about that you need to ensure and you need to interact with them till the networking session and guests who stayed till the networking yes, session. I'd like to add something, please. Yeah, yes, please. Uh, uh, so I would yeah. like to interrupt here. Yes. Not more than five interruptions. I think 
the audience has gone beyond it may i ask my speaker to continue yeah thank you kalpana another thing which we can do with the guests like in one meeting they will not be aware about that what the toastmaster is all about so what we can do we can bring a small document and when i say document there are lot of document already available on the internet on social media so when i say small document it should be of one paragraph to one page which highlights the personality growth of club members i have seen a member who was not able to utter a word now he is the president or he is a vp or he is the club director division director so we can bring their story into that one paragraph document so that people can experience and encounter the real life improvement which a person has observed by joining the toastmaster and yes as everyone said that we need to follow up yes a quick follow up to remind them about the schedule of the club meeting uh, as majority of the people who are not into routine habit forgets the timing of the meeting so just follow them up to remind them about the meeting time now as ankita as nikita was asking me that how to in, ensure member retention till the end of the meeting i will talk about how to ensure the member retention throughout the year of the toastmaster so first thing is that to stay in touch one of the primary ways we feel safe and supported is through our connections with the other as a leader do all you can to keep the team members unified and reinforce the common goals be sure you remain connected with the team members especially if you are working at distance through online media schedule one on one meeting be on video together and stay present and attentive to your team members focus on your team members and what they may need for the task they are accomplishing or the relationship they are navigating through another important point that you can do to retain the member is to empower the people there is a author uh, i remember craig smith a leadership expert and the owner of the big picture in the uk he says that it's important to encourage people and engage them in a proactive action ensure that the people know they are a part of the solutions and not in a victim mindset get the people involved in the project and give them the responsibility that keep them productive and contributing and the last point is to publicize your club we all owe our debt to the toastmaster the benefit we got from the toastmaster must be shared with the others as well when someone appreciate your personality or your communication skill or your speech delivery tactics thank them and tell them about the toastmaster if you get any award in the toastmaster put it in the social media the excom which is a major part of any toastmaster club can increase the club presence on the social media i hope with these points our club can further thrive and we will have a better leaders from our club thank you over to you toastmaster thank you sir thank you so much toastmaster dheeraj for the speech throughout your speech i uh, when we were talking about uh, maintaining uh, member retention and uh, the energy of members i remember robin sharma's quote which said every change is hard in the beginning messy in the middle and easy in the end so it's about sticking till the end because every big change that you bring in your life will be completely messy in the beginning completely hard in the beginning and messy in the middle and very easy in the end and then it just becomes a natural habit with that i would like to uh, invite the timer to give the timing reports okay so uh, speaker one took 5 minutes 45 second and she is qualified for the voting speaker two took 17 minutes 13 second am i right ankit as per my watch i had stopped the time when someone was asking the question i was just looking at the time when the speaker was speaking so as per my time the speaker in terms of his content has taken 7 minutes 26 seconds and in terms of answering the questions has taken 7 minutes 5 seconds so overall the speaker has taken uh, 14 minutes 20 uh, sorry uh, 14 minutes 31 uh, second so the speaker yeah. qualifies yeah thank you Over to you, Toastmaster. Thank you so much, Timur Dheeraj. Can we have a huge round of applause for both the prepared speeches today? Excellent. Now we would move on to the second uh, segment for today, which is the table topic round. In the table topic round, I want I really encourage all of you, especially the guests, to come up and try to speak impromptu on the topics. This will really help in your public speaking skills and also in having impromptu small talks with people that you meet on the way. 
for this session, I would like to invite the table topic master, which is Toastmaster Dev. Can we have Toastmaster Dev on the spotlight, please? Am I audible? Am I visible? Yes, you are audible and visible. Over to you, Toastmaster Dev, to conduct the table topic session. Good evening, everybody. And welcome to the 58th session of Toastmasters at Speakers Community Toastmasters Club. As a table topics uh, master, it is my role to provide you interesting and insightful topics where you can work upon your thinking skills, your listening skills, your organizing, and as well as your speech delivery skills. For table topics, the time allotted is one to two minutes. The green screen is to be showed at one minute, the yellow screen at 1.5 minutes, and red screen at two minutes. A grace period of 30 seconds will be provided to the contestants to qualify for the vote. The speaker has to speak for a minimum of one minute to qualify for the voting. I encourage members and guests to volunteer for this session. For this session, I have prepared a list of five impromptu topics based on the theme, faking, uh, where fake evidence becomes real. There will be no particular order for the choice of questions, and I will be choosing uh, contestants at random. So those who are interested, or rather those who would like to volunteer for the table topic session, please raise your hands. Okay. Uh, just a minute. So we have a total of uh, four contestants. Uh, they'll be going in order. Uh, please note the order. First, it will be uh, Toastmaster Kunal. Then it will be uh, guest Yusuf Patel. Next, it will be speaker RP. And next, it will be uh, general evaluator Toastmaster Ankit. VTM. Okay. okay, so for starters, uh, could we have uh, Toastmaster Kunal on spotlight? Zoom master, could you do the honors? Okay, so Toastmaster Kunal, the first question for you. The monk or the businessman? Rather, simplex simplicity or complexity? Which one would you favor? Toastmaster Kunal? Simplicity or complexity? Thank you, Toastmaster Dave, for the wonderful topic. So complexity or simplicity, which one I'll choose? So I'll start by sharing my story. So to start with, I come from a very small town in UP. And from to tell you about my family background, I've never been on social media. That's not because I never really liked taking pictures and uploading them. But it just because I wanted to be simple. I just wanted to enjoy my real time and not, you know, actually wasting it in capturing photos. So my thing is I really like to be simple as much as I can. I like to wear simple clothes. I like to listen to simple you know, old school music songs. So that's pretty much about me now. And uh, I think that's all I had to share. Thank you and all to you, Toastmaster. Yeah. Thank you for your wonderful speech, Toastmaster Kunal. Next, we have a general, sorry. Uh, okay. uh, Yusuf. Next, yeah, next we have guest Yusuf Patel. Uh, could we have him on spotlight, please? Hi, thank you, Dave. So, sorry. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> Uh, so, guest Yusuf, uh, the question for you, rather, or the topic of speech for you, is being pretentious. Is it good or not? Being pretentious. Uh, to us, uh, guest Yusuf. Uh, thank you, Dave, uh, for the topic. 
and uh, being pretentious, uh, whether it is good or not. I think uh, it really depends on the kind of situation that you are in. You know, I would like to think that uh, being pretentious around my friends is not something I have to do. Um, I want to be open with my friends, with my family, uh, with uh, with everyone who who I come across. Uh, display my real emotions, my real thoughts. However, I think there is a time where you may feel like you need to be pretentious, either out of fear or out of uh, lack of, um, either you feel like you're not good enough in the situation. So I think uh, there is a time where pretentiousness also, it can work out in, in so in terms of, you know, uh, you may have heard the phrase fake it till you make it and what that basically means is is that if you don't have a certain skill you can just act like you have that skill and then um, over a period of time you can learn that skill and you can uh, but but your mindset will be like I already know certain skill you know I already know how to do this I already know how to public speak so the sort of fear uh, gets reduced from that. So, so yeah, I guess uh, to sum it up, there is a time uh, uh, pretentiousness can be a little beneficial, but all in all, I think uh, that uh, it's good to be uh, it's it's good to be open about stuff. Yeah, thank you. Back to you, Dev. That was a really interesting speech, uh, Yusuf. Now uh, we have speaker Aarti, Toastmaster Aarti. Uh, Zoom master, could we have, uh, thank you. So Aarti, the question for you is when have you felt real? When have you felt real, Toastmaster Aarti? Thank you. When have I felt real? Basically, I don't like to pretend. I want always to be real. I, want, uh, I don't want to uh, create uh, some drama or uh, something like that. Everybody, everybody knows what you are. And uh, uh, there is a story of um, a person who who so a real person uh, should not have to fear about anything because uh, if we uh, speak uh, something that is not real then we will have to uh, tell another lies. So it will be a sequence of lies to cover up our, our mess up things. But if we are real, we don't have to cover it. We can be open about everything. Thank you. Over to you. That was a pretty good speech, Karthi. Next, we have General Evaluator to DTM Ankit, uh, Zoom Master. Could we have him on Spotlight, please? Yes, thank you. So, when we talk about uh, uh, when we talk about the theme of uh, fake and real. We always see two different types of people. One who is more invested in the optics and one who is real, who is what he truly is or what they truly are. So DTM Ankit, the question or rather the topic for you is, is it worth it? Is it worth it 
डीटीएम अंकित थैंक यू टोस्ट मास्टर देव फॉर द टॉपिक सो एज आई अंडरस्टैंड बाय योर नरेशन इज दैट यू नीड सम पीपल आर are there who like to show off and some people are there who like to be more real and be grounded or they believe in what they have is what they show so is it worth it is the topic of uh, of the uh, session today and what i believe is that it all depends on how you feel at the end of the day if you feel satisfied that showing off how i am will make me get more people or make me get more likes or make me get make me more uh, approachable then go ahead and do that if you feel that you want to be grounded although people may perceive you in whichever way they want to but you always believe what you are and it doesn't matter what people perceive you as then so be it because we all are dynamic individuals we all are different individuals we cannot categorize one person or everyone into one single trait and that is the complexity that is all about as you had said at the start is it simple or is it complex i believe it's a very complex world that we have today so when we go out and categorize that you should be this way or you should be that way i believe that is not the right way it's always we should always look from a wider angle a person might be doing something because of the way that person is structured or the way that person thinks for example i at some point of time like to uh, be well dressed i like to go to conferences in a suit some people might think that is a show off but for me it builds my confidence so at the end it's all about how i think at some point of time i would like to be in my shirt and shorts it doesn't matter what people think at that point of time because i know that i'm feeling comfortable so that that is my answer that at the end it's all about what you think what you want people may perceive you in different way if you feel that you want that perception of people to affect you then you yes if that is how you are and at at other times if you don't want the people's perception to perf- uh, to affect you then that is how it is at the end it's all about how you want to be thank you and over to you dev that was a really insightful speech dtm ankit well and uh do we have any i would like to ask everybody uh, do we have any more volunteers or Okay. So we have team mod Nikita. So Nikita, the question for you is: What is your your perspective of of real? What is your perspective of being real, team mod Nikita? Yeah. Okay. thank you so much toastmaster dev real so as it was said very well we look at the world through our stained glass window which means we can look at it through the stained glass window of opportunities of fear of guilt of anger our windows are stained and um, being real means trying to remove those stains for me I remember there was a very uh, spiritual lecture that I heard when I was really young and it said that there's always a fact and there's an interpretation of the fact which means something like I say that I like toastmaster ankit said that I like to wear a suit the interpretation of the fact can be that oh he's trying to be snobby or that oh he's uh, looking nice so there's always a fact and there's an interpretation of the fact being real to me means living in facts not opinions uh looking at the world as it is i also remember a quote from satguru at this point of time when he says don't look up to anybody don't look down on anybody look at people as they are which means being real thank you and over to you toastmaster dev thank you for the interesting speech toastmaster nikita and with this we draw close to the event of table topics i would now request the timer to come and present the timings for each and every contestant thank you table topic master for bringing to us so interesting and meaningful uh, topic uh, so the timing report is as following uh, 
Kunal took one minutes five second. Yusuf took two minutes seven second. Arthi took one minutes twenty second. Ankit took two minutes nineteen second. And Nikita took one minutes twenty second. All are qualified for both. Over to your table topic master. Thank you so much, uh, Toastmaster Deeraj. Uh, I, Toastmaster Dev, do you have any closing words? Yes, yes, I do. Uh, first of all, I'd like to, uh, it's, it's more of a point of order. Uh, will we be having a voting right now of, of, for the best table topic speaker? We can. Okay, sure. So Zoom Master, could you please present the club with the voting? For the best table topics master wait one second dheeraj can you please confirm if we can have the voting now uh, no just to give us some time we will continue with the meeting and then okay. later on we will raise the poll we can do it later sure 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 no problem so for now i would like to hand over the meeting back to team or nikita and with her wonderful theme of fake evidence being real over to you first master Thiri. Thank you so much, Toastmaster Dev. Before we proceed towards the evaluation section, I want to leave you all with a challenge. We were talking about fears throughout the meeting. There are some fears that are completely irrational. They have no basis and they just exist. As an example, my father had a fear of snakes. The way he overcome that fear was very interesting. He did two things. One, he went to a snake show and held a snake. Second, he went to China and ate a snake. That's what he did. So we all have some irrational fears that have completely no base and we can do some very interesting things to get rid of them. I want all of you to ask yourself, what are your irrational fears? What are those fears that have completely no basis or some things which are cannot be rationalized easily, but they just exist as a human fear in you? The fear for snakes, for example, is something which even an infant, so they did this experiment in which an infant was exposed to snakes and he had no idea absolutely what snakes are, but still the reflexes in him told him that it's something scary and he should be scared of it. So there are some fears that exist in us like these. So I want you to ask yourself, what is that irrational fear that you have? And I want you to take up this challenge of facing that irrational fear today, this week or this year whenever you can. Take up the challenge and face your irrational fear and do post your photos on Instagram so we all can see it. Thank you so much. And I would like to go proceed towards the third segment for today, which is the general evaluation. For the general evaluation, I would like to call upon to, uh, distinguished Toastmaster Ankit to take over the session of the general evaluation. Thank you, Toastmaster Nikita, for such a wonderful session. So I just want to, on the on your closing comments that you said that face your fears and try to overcome it. So I had a fear of heights uh, long back and I overcame that by uh, doing a skywalk from, I think the world's second or third largest building when I was in Shanghai. So I was able to overcome my fear. I always do trekking. So that was there, but I, in trekking, you are never seeing at, at the edge, right? So you don't get that kind of a fear when you're trekking, but that was where I was able to overcome the fear. So thanks. Thanks a lot for your session. Uh, dear members and guests, uh, general evaluation is a very interesting part of the meeting wherein we evaluate the session as a whole. So I'm the general evaluator. I'll be evaluating the whole session with me. I also have my team of uh, our counter timer, and we also have evaluations for the speeches that were done today. So we have very experienced evaluators will be evaluating the speeches. We had two wonderful speeches today. For the first speech was given by Toastmaster Arti, and to evaluate the speech, before I ask the evaluator to come out, I would like to say the timing for the evaluations. Evaluations are for two to three minutes, wherein the timer will be showing the green card at two minutes, the yellow card at two and a half minutes, and the red card at three minutes. The speaker or the evaluator has 30 seconds time to wrap up the evaluation. And now I would like to call on stage the evaluator for Toastmaster RT speech. That is Toastmaster Amai. Can I have Toastmaster Amai in spotlight, please? Toastmaster Amai? 
am i audible and visible the, okay the mic was muted and now yeah it all happens with us in the online medium so yeah you're audible to fast am i are you able to see the timer's card yes i am able okay toastmaster amay please go ahead yeah secure future the topic indeed makes us to think we all dream of a future and the topic of topic of money making no matter how close it is to our hearts but it is a serious affair definitely but toastmaster arti made it to sound very smooth and relaxing enough to know how to actually secure our future so to begin with the her speech was very well structured it showed that toastmaster arti had practiced it a lot understood it and the deliver was up to the mark when she asked the question uh, that made us connected to the speech at the beginning itself so i was very much curious like what is going to come ahead she started uh, by uh, explaining about wealth about the various types of uh, wealth she explained what is the role of, or importance of wealth in our life no matter how much we say that wealth is health still many of us sometimes tend to forget that what could be the different ways of leading a good and prosperous life so she explained us the techniques and the ways this shows that uh, not only she is aware about the topic but she has also come up with the answers to the questions that could come in the mind of the audiences so this kind of skill she is having of explaining with pro- explaining and coming up with proper quotes as well as examples from uh, successful uh, finance professionals and uh, she made sure that she persuaded the point the best thing about her speech was that uh, the way in which she gave examples of her that of her own relatives uh, and justified that how bad it could be or what could be the sheer consequences if someone really fails to secure also at the end i would say Uh, that she concluded by letting us know uh, how to multiply the savings and at the end that appeal was spot on and it really struck the audience that there was an appeal and a message that there should be a proper plan for saving also she insisted that we need to have a blueprint so it is not only persuasion but she is this shows also the caring that there should be a plan for each one of us for effective saving and finally the end that could be achieved after a successful saving so all in all it was a well structured and well delivered speech congratulations to master r over to you thank you to master ame for a detailed evaluation Those master arti you gave a wonderful speech and the speech uh, as to those master ama also rightly mentioned i had some few addition in terms of the points that uh, those master arti did very well in her speech those master arti had a very good pace in terms of how she was talking it was not too fast not too slow it was in a very good medium pace she had a lot of hand gestures the best thing i like about those master arti when she gives the speech is that she stands up and gives the speech every time that so it shows the efforts that she is putting in so one and i could also see she was trying to find the right angle where she will be able to give the speech it was evident that in her uh, expression that she was a bit worried like if she's getting the right angle or not so beautiful uh, efforts that you put into master arti you also had examples and also questions to the audience that is a wonderful trait to have if you are having a persuasive speech it's always good to connect with the audience so you had that questions that you asked the audience just one point that i felt you could have done better was there was some kind of involuntary movement that was happening when you were giving the speech you were, although you were you should when you are talking wherein the audience has to listen to you you are moving left and right so that distracts the audience a bit in if they have to listen to you so just remember about that aspect about if if uh, one way to go about that is 
when you are structured your speech, decide where you want to stand at which part of your speech. For example, at the start of your speech, you can stand on the left. In the middle, you can come to the right. Uh, in in the center and the la last or conclusion, you go to the right. So so that you're covering the whole stage rather than being a bit of an involuntary movement. So that's uh, uh, overall to Osmasrath, but a wonderful speech. And uh, I really love the uh, efforts and also the improvement that you have had overall in terms of your uh, speech uh, journey. So congratulations to Osmata uh, to Osmasrath. Uh, next, we had a speech by Toastmaster Dheeraj, uh, the presiding officer and the president of our club. I'm mentioning this because for the guests who don't know about what is happening today in the speech, he's the president of our club. So, and the uh, speech will be evaluated by uh, Toastmaster Kalpana. But before that, I would like to ask Toastmaster Dheeraj, will you be taking over as a timer? Uh, yes. Okay, great. So, Toastmaster Kalpana, uh, if you can spotlight Toastmaster Kalpana, please, Zoom Master. Uh, Kalpana, are you able to see the timing cards? Yes. Okay. Over to you, Toastmaster Kalpana. Toastmaster Viraj, you actually tackled the bull by the horns. To bring up the subject so boldly on the stage, in a speech, in such a structured manner, that not only did you speak about the problems, but you were ready with the answers. Answers that will make sense answers that will make us think, make us reflect and make us realize that yes, there is a way with which we can deal with the current circumstances or situations. Your opening was bang on. Though I'm, I spoke about bull, let me tell you, the awesome quote of smile through the tears really made me smile because I was wondering what was coming. You had something called CODE code and you had another quote which was told to us while you continued with your speech. The speech tackled the problems that every club faces. So I enjoyed it. Let me tell you what in your structured speech, because right now I'm going to evaluate first your structured speech. I wish that your structured speech was a little slow, not that fast. You know, you were sort of rushing through it. Probably you were tensed up even about the interruptions. Another thing, your voice modulation could have been strong. It could have been, you know, what a leader feels like and how we could lead it. There should have been some passion in the voice to make us realize, yes, get up. Let's do it. I like the fact that you said that yes, external motivation matters, but in the end, you need an internal motivation because we all are here because we motivate ourselves. You should have also taken up one more point why, why we cannot retain people till the end for the networking. It's because People's level of boredom or getting bored is becoming too quick, too easy, too, too short-lived to enjoy anything. Let me tell you now about your impromptu speech. What was it about your impromptu speech? Remember one thing, Deeraj, when we are on the podium, we are the authority. Your timer point when you tackled Toastmaster Ankit was excellent. But your audience was disruptive. They were argumentative. And as a speaker, you should have corrected them when you were referred as president because at that particular time, your role play was that of a speaker. You need to be assertive when you're handling your audience. You need to be politely saying that we will tackle certain questions outside one-on-one -on -one after I complete my speech. Overall, a wonderful speech, a little more to work on where you're tackling with your audience. That's all. Over to you, General Evaluator Tosin DTM Ankit. Thank you, Toastmaster Kalpana. It was a wonderful evaluation and it covers all the points that I also had with respect to Toastmaster Dheeraj's 
questions and i really love the way that you brought on that point about being assertive which is also very important because uh, and that's the same point that i would like to say to toast much adhiraj is that you are in control if you find that you having a lot of questions and that was also objective of the uh, the speech that you may have a lot of interruptions but how you do you manage that and it, it's about in real life too you if you are the head of the organization you will have a lot of questions coming in how do you manage that as kalpana rightly said i'll answer some of the questions at, at the end because of the timing issues you can say say it that way because that shows that you are in control without being very rude to the uh, people who are asking you questions but even in terms of people who as in the members who ask the questions kudos to you kudos to nikita kudos to amay and kudos to kalpana in terms of asking those questions because they are very thought provoking questions which really uh, motivated prosmaja dheeraj to answer although my question was a bit subdued i didn't expect these kind of uh, good questions to come out so good uh, job done to master uh, nikita and to master amma in terms of asking the questions thank you so that was with respect to the uh, evaluation sessions uh, i would now request the timer first let me give the timing report for to master amma's evaluation it was 3 minutes 9 seconds and to master amma qualifies i would like uh, to master dheeraj to give the timing for to master on uh, uh, kalpana's evaluation uh, i think it was the 3 minutes 20 second uh, 3 minutes 20 seconds so she is also 3 minutes perfect. 20 seconds so great so both the uh, evaluators uh, qualify in terms of timing wonderful now i'll uh, quickly come down to the evaluation for the table topics before i go ahead with the evaluation for the whole uh, uh, for everyone so table topics we had a very good session that was master uh, was master dev conducted and we had five speakers first uh, to master kunal uh, simplicity versus complexity to master uh, kunal it was a very good attempt one part i feel that you could have worked on was maybe giving more examples because that will give you content what i felt was you were missing content that's the reason you stop in between because you didn't have more things to say so always have some examples maybe take some personal examples you maybe could have also used the examples that toshma the dev itself gave at the start i think he talked about a monk and a businessman although his actual uh, topic was simplicity versus complexity so you could have taken it from there what does a monk uh, signify what does a businessman signify so you will have more content and to more to talk about for 1 to 2 minutes but uh, keep uh, trying to say to do not stop in between to master konal that's one advice that i can give you think about different although if you want you can take time but think about different ways in which you can finish that 2 minutes of time or at least that red card so maybe from next on ensure that you at least speak till the red card great next uh, guest yusuf uh, it was a beautiful attempt for a first time you're coming and giving such a structured speech it was very well done you had your own life scenarios examples and also you had a wonderful conclusion so it didn't look like you were a, a newcomer in terms of toastmasters because your speech was very well structured so great it just shows the kind of a speaker you are and although you shared your fear that you had the fear of you have that uh, uh, fear of uh, coming and speaking in front of people or having the uh, disruptions that you have but it was never evident in the speech that you gave so that just shows the confidence that you have so keep speaking to uh, uh, guest yusuf and please do join toastmasters because i'm sure you will learn a lot in toastmasters through uh, uh, through the kind of uh, people that you have here so uh, great attempt was uh, guest yusuf uh, next uh, coming to uh, toastmaster arti toastmaster arti your speech was when have you felt red so it is a very good attempt to master arti uh, for you also i feel that in terms of content you could have talked a bit more uh, in terms of some other examples uh, but overall a beautiful attempt to master arti and uh, great that you attempted the table topics so that what matters so thanks to master arti uh, to master nikita uh, what is your perspective of real uh, so you gave an example of sadguru and you also had other examples so uh, you took a cue from my uh, speech which is again a good thing to do and uh, and you also had your own example so a uh, good job done to master nikita in terms of that uh, this was with respect to a table topic a very good uh, session that we had now i'll come to the uh, session as a whole uh, we had a uh, toastmaster uh, dheeraj who uh, sorry toastmaster kunal who started the meeting we started the meeting on time and toastmaster kunal uh, gave the opening address so toastmaster kunal you had a very energetic opening so good job in terms of that just one thing that uh, you missed out was about starting the recording 
maybe that is something that you can take care of moving ahead but a uh, good job in terms of also opening up and also as you are the zoom master in terms of spotlighting everyone i know it's not an easy job and uh, you have to uh, manage different things but good job in terms of that coming to toastmaster dheeraj toastmaster dheeraj i always love the opening addresses that you have you have a story you have an example that you always come up with and we are really inspired by the way that you give those examples uh, you also introduce the guest and you made the guest feel welcome so good job in terms of that toastmaster dheeraj one thing that i can advise you uh, when you give your uh, presiding officer address is that whenever anyone says something just to encourage them you can say to everyone let's have a round of applause for the speaker who just spoke so that gives a kind of a motivation to the speaker also in terms of understanding uh, what has to be done now coming to the toastmaster of the day toastmaster nikita i was uh, floored by the topic that you had it was such a beautiful topic and the way that you conducted the whole session as a team or that was wonderful i like i have seldom uh, attempt uh, attended these kind of sessions wherein you also have a session as a whole wherein you are making everyone do an exercise so that was very well done toastmaster nikita which shows the kind of efforts that you put in terms of reading about this concept and also coming and making everyone do the tasks and the best part was that the tasks were also very simple so that people could do it and they had their answers on the spot so that just shows the capability of you as a trainer as a, a speaker so good job toastmaster nikita very uh, well conducted session one thing that maybe i can advise in terms of uh, the session as a whole is that maybe you can structure it in a way where in some part of it you can also keep it post the ttm is over so that you, although you have your whole session you have the session till the general evaluation and maybe at the end also post general evaluation if you want to do a conclusion so maybe structure it in a way wherein even post ttm you have something to talk about right but overall a beautiful uh, uh, session to usmaster niketa i am uh, really glad that i was able to attend your session today uh now i would uh, like to talk about toastmaster dev toastmaster dev uh, very well attempted a uh, very well conducted uh, table topic session uh, one thing that i felt toastmaster dev uh, can be improved on is uh, your voice was getting a bit uh, because of the mic issue that you had we couldn't hear you at some point of time also the topics that you had uh, although you gave a narration in terms of the topic i felt the topic could be more fruitful because some topics like is it worth it uh, kind of becomes a very generic topic in terms of uh, when a speaker has to talk about so if you can give a topic which is like end to end a speaker can speak something substantial with respect to that topic is what i feel that uh, can be done with respect to a table topic moving ahead but a good attempt was master dev in terms of the table topics um, i would now like to call the r counter uh, to give the r counter report So, to us, Master Kalpana, over to you. Thank you, General Evaluator D K Mankat. Uh, let me begin with Nikita. Nikita, in her initial stage, just said one hour, but in her table topic, she had two hours. You show in the table topic said two hours, two times in in. That means there was a filler word. Ankit had two hours initially while he was talking. Kunal had some filler words. That is, you know, that's it. Just because and long pauses. After an ad, Toastmaster Arthi had two hours, three hours, and long pause. And in table topic, she had more than five hours. Table uh, table topic master Dave today had two hours, and no, actually, it were more than five times. The hours, hours, and arms were more than five times. Let me talk about Toastmaster Dheeraj. There were four hours. and then during his speech while he was answering his questions maybe more than five times um am i missing out on anyone uh amai amai had uh, more than five hours i would like you all to give me <laughs> as to how many times i have might have spoken as i hope someone was monitoring me as for An ankit you had two or three hours initially and then there was a repeat of at at the edge and as a general evaluator you had more than 5 hours but else all was good thank you so much thank you to usmaster kalpana let's give a round of applause to usmaster kalpana because she also took up the role as the uh, sergeant at arms and as the evaluator along with the r counter role so uh, thanks to usmaster kalpana for taking it up you had 3 hours i had counted it thanks uh and now i would like to talk about our uh, timer uh, although the timer is given the timing to usmaster dheeraj let's give a round of applause to usmaster dheeraj 
because he also took multiple roles. He took the role as a timer, as a presiding officer, and also the speaker. I although I was able to uh, assist it, assist him in some of the way that I could, but uh, great job, Toastmaster Dheeraj. Uh, this just shows the uh, capabilities of you as a leader. Thanks. uh with this i think i have covered most of the parts everything that i had to say with respect to my general evaluation it was a very good session that we had today uh kudos to all the people who are part of this session because in terms of speeches in terms of roles in terms of uh, every role player who worked and also the speeches and evaluations it was beautiful i really got to learn a lot today through the session and i'm sure that most of you would have uh, the same i would now like to hand over the stage back to the toastmaster the day toastmaster nikita for her closing comments thank you so much general evaluator ankit that was a wonderful evaluation and uh, with this i would like to know the feedback of our guests of how they like the meeting uh, can we have a uh, guest yusuf who can give us his feedback hi everyone uh, thanks for uh, thanks for inviting me here uh, i had a really great time nikita you and in particular like your uh, uh your uh, your exercise and your uh, structure was really like uh, i have to i have to agree with ankit like it just blew me away and and uh, it was very thought provoking and uh, it was very uh, beneficial as well i really like that you left us with an exercise and you wanted us to uh, identify a irrational fear and then thereafter uh, try to tackle that apart from that i think this is a really great meeting i uh, whereas uh, dheeraj was trying was trying to improve upon the membership of the group i hope the group doesn't increase by too much because i think uh, that uh, we all had a chance to air and we all had a chance to speak and i think that's what is really important here so i think this is a really great group and i look forward to coming back again soon thank you guys thank you so much yusuf actually that's one of the reasons i love this club it's such a comfortable and cozy environment that everybody knows each other and it's a safe space to grow uh mansi can we have your feedback please Yes, Nikita. This was my first session, and I really liked it. Uh, I sorry I couldn't uh, switch on my video because I'm traveling and I'm in a family. Um, but yeah, I'll try to switch it on from the next week, and I'll do. I'll try to participate more. And yeah, I'm really looking forward to learning more. Thank, Thank you so much, Mansi. Thank you. um i think we can release uh, the polls is it possible so master to release the polls yes okay can we have the polls for the best table topic first just let me know when we can go to the next one we are done okay can we have the next poll which is for the best evaluator yeah it's done Okay, thank you. Uh, so, Master, can we now have the polls for the best role player? We can move on. It's done. Okay. Can we have the best uh, the polls for the best auxiliary load player? Yeah. 
sorry what is the zm and sa uh, that's the zoom master who was actually at the back in managing all the zoom meetings the technical challenges for today nikita we can take speaker also yes um, zoom master can we go ahead okay now lastly can we have the polls for the best speaker We done. Yeah, we are done. Thank you, Nikita. Oh, okay. Thank you so much, Zoom Master. I would like before handing over to the presiding officer to conduct the award ceremony and close the meeting. I would like to congratulate everybody uh, for having a. I mean, irrespective of whether you win the awards or not, and everybody has given their best for the meeting today. So I would like to congratulate everybody for that, and thank you so much for attending this meeting and. my closing remarks as i've already mentioned is that i all want all of you to take up a challenge to face an irrational fear today and uh, i'm looking forward to seeing all of your pictures on instagram where you have taken up that fear and you have uh, faced it over to you presiding officer to for the closing remarks thank you toastmaster of the day for bringing such a useful interactive and insightful uh, theme of the day we really loved and we have i feel that majority of us has figured out the fear we have and we have the right methodology to conquer it uh, zoom masters you have roughly 2 minutes time to prepare with the certificates for the award and in the meantime let's have a picture group picture of everyone so uh, with a big smile and uh, switch on the video first so that we can see your smile and take the photo yes uh, uh kunal uh, can you uh, okay ame i think that you can do it yes yeah thank you cheese yeah it's done so uh and i am very thankful to the dtm ankit das gupta for giving us so detailed report and it's very good thing about uh, i think it's it's applicable to every experienced toast master that they can find out what the good in you and what the area where you can work on so he has Uh, means individually he has figured out that what are the areas you need to work upon and what the good things you have done in today's meeting so thank you uh, ankit das gupta for giving us such a detailed feedback because without the feedback the leaders cannot be built uh, and we all are awaiting for the most uh, we said the most awaited part of the today's meeting that is the award ceremony uh, zoom master uh, are we ready with the certificates yes i'm ready to share them Can I share? So please, yes, please share one by one, everyone. Kunal, can you make me co-host? I'll help you with the spotlighting. Yeah, I'll do that. This is called teamwork. We are here to support each other. Okay, so yes, the good starting. the best role player auxiliary goes to toastmaster gunal to those to gunal he is a really energetic and very hard working guy uh, let me click the photo click the photograph yes i am doing it yeah it's done we can move on to the next award and that goes to uh, ankit please ready to spotlight the person first master nikita best table topic so whenever she gives the table topic she gets the best table topic award yeah it's done she has a new hairstyle also okay we can go to the next uh, award okay best evaluator goes to toast master ame do master please spotlight toast master ame the way he gives the evaluation and the voice is fantastic yeah done okay uh, let's move on to the next uh, best speaker toastmaster arti and toastmaster dheeraj okay i think that all the audience was confused at whom to give the best so they made everyone 
both the speaker, the best speaker. Thank you. Uh, congratulations to Toastmaster Arti and congratulations to Toastmaster Dheeraj. Thank you. Yes. It's done. We can move to the best role player. Again, it goes to Toastmaster Nikita. Congratulations, Toastmaster Nikita. You really deserve it. You brought a very good theme to us. Yeah. Sir. I think we are done with the, all the awards. Congratulations to all the winners. And thank you everyone for joining the meeting and making this meeting so memorable and wonderful. With this, I officially close the meeting and then we are open for the networking session. So master, we can stop the recording.